the things I never thought I would have to do in my life was to follow Vladimir Nabokov. <laughs> Which is not the easiest act in the world to follow, especially when he's reading from Lolita. Um, but still, he's dead and I'm not. <laughs> Then you have to settle for me. Um, I'm very happy to be here to, to present to you and commend to you um, Leela's lovely book, The Enchanter. Um, one of the things that struck me is that the, the, the curious kind of magic that happens in the act of reading is very rarely written about. The thing that happens between the imagination and intelligence of the reader and the imagination and intelligence of the writer, how they come together and make the book. It's very, people don't write about it very often, and yet all of us who love to read have that experience, have that experience of going into a book and joining somehow with the book our own selves and our own intelligence, um, and together having the experience of the book. The intimacy of strangers that writing is, where a person you never meet, that you can't know. Lila says at the beginning of the book that their, her relationship and Nabokov's did not get off to a very good start because he died more or less at the same time as she was born. And that's, that's a bad start. But she made up for the start um, by in fact forming a very intimate relationship um, with him. And, and I think that the book, has, the book is already getting wonderfully praised and, and deserves to be uh, and it is, it has a kind of curious combination of delicacy and strength and, and kind of critical intelligence and a kind of antic fantasy intelligence. Um, and the person who's, I noticed one or two of the people who began to write about it, wondering why there wasn't more of Leela as a person in the book. But it struck me that there is, it's just that it's not the kind of self-portrait that in the age of Oprah we're used to. <laughs> you know, it's, not, it's not confessional, it's not revelatory of personal details, but what it is, is the portrait of an intelligence. And it's the portrait of her intelligence as much as it is the portrait of Nabokov's. And I think it's those two things coming together that make it such a beautiful book. And I commend it to you. Absolutely unique and, and, and singularly precious. Thank you very, very much.